What is the best vlogging camera? In this video, we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of different vlogging camera options for every budget. Coming up. What's up guys, Benji here. Sean here. And this is Video Influencers, helping budget influence, income, and impact with online videos. And in this channel, we bring you weekly interviews with video influencers and tip and tricks videos just like this one. So subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, and in this video we're talking all about vlogging cameras mm -hmm. and you know, both of us have vlogged a little bit. Benji and his wife Judy continue to vlog daily. daily. And so we've had the experience with a lot of different ca cameras at different price ranges and so we want to share with you the best options right now. And hey, by the way, at any point during this video, check out links and show notes in the description below. We'll link to all of these vlogging cameras plus some other resources as well. So before we get started, there's a lot of things you have to consider before you buy a camera in general. So today we're gonna to talk about vlogging specific things to consider. Number one thing for me is wide angle. You know, if you're holding a camera, arms distance, arms length. You wanna make sure you're capturing the whole shot. So wide angle is super, super important. The next thing is that it's pocket sized and that it's light. You don't want your vlogging camera to be super heavy or crazy. Yeah, and another thing to consider is how easy is it to use? You know, I know there's some people that are experts. I know some of you are beginners, but the point is when you wanna get a shot going right then and there, you want it to be easy to use quick to turn on and boom, you capture the shot. And then the last two things is that it has IS. Some cameras have image stabilization because if you're holding the camera mm -hmm. out there, it's shaky, it makes it a little bit more smooth. And then you also, if possible, want it to be good in low light. If it's a sunny day, it's no big deal. But at nighttime when you're vlogging, you really want to make sure that it looks good in low light. Now the first camera we're gonna suggest is one that you probably already have, your phone. And you know what? We've always recommended this, but there's a game changer now. Pop sockets right here. Now, we're not sponsored by them, but I use it all the time. You know, like one of the problems with uh, phone cameras is it's kind of shaky, right? Even when you're holding it like this. This pop socket is something that gives you a little better grip that literally you can hold with one hand, right? So you can literally vlog with one hand with your phone, but if you put two hands, game changer. And what I love about this is number one, it folds down. So like it fits in my pocket. You know, a lot of people wouldn't want something bulky. So like it fits in your pocket because it flattens out. Best part, it's only 10 bucks. So literally for $10, you have a legit vlogging camera. And what I love about phones these days has image stabilization built into it. Yeah, so if you're looking for a new smartphone, consider the video quality, consider image stabilization, and then grab a pop socket and you have a vlog ready camera. The second camera is actually the ELF series by Canon. Right here we have a 110 HS. This is a little bit older. What is the simple and easy way to pan fry a steak? We're going to talk about that in this video. A friend of mine recently started a channel and he got a 300 HS and he got it for about $150 US used on Amazon. There's a whole bunch of different models here, but that's our best recommendation. The reason why? 24 millimeter wide angle lens, image stabilization built in, and a very nice portable and durable form factor. Now, I personally use the Canon S120. Now, they don't make Canon S120s, but in my opinion, it's one of the best vlogging cameras. We're suggesting the S110 because number one, it's a lot more affordable, right? But it still has a lot of the capabilities that the S120 has. And what I love about this is it has really great wide angle, right? Uh, the audio is really good. And you know what, all around, solid camera. Literally, I vlog with this every single day. So if, if you have it in your budget to jump up from the Elf, to the S120, S110, this is definitely the vlogging camera for you. Yeah, and if you shop around for an S110, you could probably get it for $225 or right around there. And the great thing about these two cameras is this one is 2.7 aperture, this one is 2.0 aperture, and that means that they're good in low light. You want those low aperture numbers so that when there's not a lot of light, the video quality still looks awesome. And if you have even higher of a budget available, the Canon 
G7X is like the go-to for the pro vloggers. You know, like I think Casey Neistat talks about it. A lot of my daily vlogging uh, uh, friends also use the G7X and it's just an all around solid camera. Now the G7X is what has what a lot of people want and that's a flip screen. Mm. Also the aperture goes all the way down to 1.8. So that means it's incredible in low light, such a solid camera, and then also has the good wide angle and has just incredible video quality and it also has autofocus that's really good during video so it can track your face as you're vlogging. The problem is, you know, G7X or the Mark II version is gonna run you anywhere from 650 to $700 US brand new. And so it's worth it, but we also have a few options that won't break the budget as much, but still get you the flip screen. So the first one is the Panasonic SZ10. Now you can pick this up for about $140 used. You do get the flip screen, but in this case, it's only 720p, it's not 1080, and it starts at 3.1 aperture. So these cameras don't do as good in low light. The second one is the Canon N2. It's got the flip screen, it's 1080p, it costs though about $300, and the aperture on that one is at 3.0. Again, technically what that means is it's not gonna be as good in low light. And we suggest if you're already spending $300, you maybe wanna get one of the cameras mentioned earlier in the video. And then the last one is a Nikon Cool Pix. It's the S 6900. It does 1080p. You could probably get it for about $180 US but it starts at 3.3 on the aperture. Again, so none of these cameras are gonna necessarily look great in low light, but we definitely recommend them if it's important to you to have a flip screen and you wanna save some money. Question of the day, what currently do you vlog with and what camera do you want next? Let us know in the comments section and remember that actually some of the best tips and recommendations come from you, the video influencers community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, share this video with somebody that's looking for a vlog camera and hit that like button. Yeah, and if you haven't downloaded our free guide, it actually has seven biggest mistakes that most vloggers make from some of today's top vloggers. They share their tips. So you can grab that free. We'll link it up in the description below as well as on the YouTube card. And remember, here on Video Influencers, we're helping build your influence, income, and impact with online videos. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon. Hey, what's up, guys? Although the sun is really showing up right there, but it doesn't really matter too much. Vlogging, Vlogging camera. camera. Yeah, there you go. Is the light like turning red for you sometimes when you look at this? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, like, it goes yeah, pink and I'm weird. seeing all kind okay. of, yeah, yeah, I just kind of get used to it. I live in a <clears throat> world of craziness. So, a couple things.